Welcome to Pipes Out the House and today I'm actually right outside the Celtic Manor Hotel in Newport. I'm starting off outside the gates. We're going to meet my mate, Sam. Now Sam is the one that's got the DR350. He's had it bored out. Um, new piston, new cylinder. And I think he said it's now about a 450, something like that, or a 448. So today we're gonna to go and ride with him for the first time since he's done it. This, which for those of you who don't know, is a DRZ. 400 SM, it's a supermoto. This is always a bit quicker than his DR350, although it did have a bit of poke. So it'll be interesting to see how it performs today. We're gonna to go down through Cat's Ash in Newport, into Langstone, then we're gonna drive up and we're gonna meet in a place called Kyle Went. And in Kyle Went, a bit like you've seen in my other videos in Killian, we got more Roman remains. We said we'll meet up there and then we're just gonna go for a bit of a blast really and make it up as we go along. So this area is Cat's Ash. We're now going to head down into Langstone. I think I probably could have carried on up that road, actually. Gone for a nicer drive. I'm always interested to know what the wind noise is like on this. I'm using the Purple Panda microphone again here. And fingers crossed, it's doing its job. Much better than the AGP Tech Lavellier microphone I was using to start with on these Moto Vlogs. And I'm hoping this is going to be the one I'll stick with all the way now. Problem is, they're extremely hard to get hold of. And I find if you go online, I got mine on Amazon. And they were sold out as quick as they went on there. I managed to snap one up, but I'm tempted to try and buy another one just as a backup really, because the sound quality when I listen back is really good. It doesn't seem to be affected by wind noise a lot, so it's pretty good. And it was only 15 quid. A few accessories, a few accessories I didn't need mine, but 15 quid, I'm happy with it. So we're in Langstone now. I'm gonna hang a left here. We're gonna go down what's known as the A48. There's a car I'm about to pull out on. Let's go. Oh, hell. He was going a bit sharpish, wasn't he? Right, so we're approaching Kyle Went now, just coming off the A48, and we're about to meet Sam. Hopefully he's already there, because I'm running late. What I didn't tell you with this bike was, we all call it Trigger's Brooming Work, because um, it's the only Fools and Horses reference. He always says it just needs a new part, and I think, other than the frame, pretty much everything else is replaced. He's made his own mount to increase the size of his front disc brake, and he's put a new disc brake on there. He's had the whole thing reboard, machine. He does all his tinkering in the garage. I think the one thing he had done was the boring out and the the work in a machine shop for for the engine. But everything else, he rebuilds all himself. He's like a nutty professor. He makes electric bikes at home. He's always tinkering and doing uh, his own little crazy concoctions of vehicles at home. But yeah, fair play to him. Here we go. I can see it. Here he is. You're on camera now, look. It's flashing. <laughs> I'm filming you. So there it is. Trigger's broom. Stop and put another shirt on. I brought an extra shirt because this is just mesh. The wind goes straight. Oh, I got one of those. And it, it was a bit cold, so I thought I'd better pack something else. I bought, I bought one from um, Sport Bike Shop, again, on offer. Remember you said to me, you said oh, another ornament, I think, because I said I bought it on offer. You said you'll never use it. There he is in the mirror. And off we go. We've got to go calm through here. So this is Kai Went. Here we go. There's some of the Roman remains. They're up there. Not entirely sure what it is. I'd have to tell you another day. We'll come back and have a look, but that's part of it anyway. We're just going to go for a ride in this direction now, which is towards Chepstow. And I guess we'll just sort of make it up as we go along. That's what we usually do. Go somewhere fun with these bikes. You don't want to go somewhere on too big a road. And our edge, there we are. What year is that then? Late 90s. I think it might be a 96, 97. I'll have to ask him later. I can't work it out just yet. Oh, he's definitely got a bit more oomph in it than he used to. He just said that his one wheel bearing's on his way out, so there's a good chance it's going to seize today. So we're just going past the Sambier Country Hotel. I've been to a few weddings there. One of them in particular. I won't mention any names, but it got a little bit messy. It was something to do with taking golf carts out all day. I'm not sure if we're going to pull in here now and get some fuel. Texaco tends to be a bit pricey, but there we are. Beggars can't be choosers, can they? No, I'm unlighted. There's none on here. They haven't got any of the super, super unleaded, unfortunately. I don't like putting the other stuff in my bike. They haven't got any super, have they? Go to Tesco's? Yeah, there's no E5 here, so... Alright then. I don't like putting E10 in it. No, neither do I. 
that the petrol's awful on these bikes. If you stick it in and you leave it, I don't get out on the bike all the time. If you leave it for a few months, I had a Honda 600 CBRRR, left some fuel in it. It was like sawdust in the bottom. I had to empty the tank, get it all out. It's like compost, basically. Tap it all out and it ruined the fuel pump. I'm going to change all the fuel pump. So I will not put anything other than that super unleaded in it these days. So, unfortunately, no fuel. We're going to have to go into Chepstow, get it from someone like Tesco's. I don't really like buying supermarket fuel either. People do say about that. I don't know if there's any truth in it. That they use additives and things like that. But either way, I want super unleaded. So that's what we're going to do. We managed to get fuel, so we're ready to go. We're just coming into Chepstow. Luckily, this bit of road is widened up because the traffic is awful. And you've got a real mix of people in these cars. Some of them are just letting you pass, no problem at all. And you've got other ones that, I don't know, I think they've been stuck in the traffic for a bit too long. And they don't seem too keen on it, but there we go, it's always the same, isn't it? So this is Chepstow, another castle down the bottom. Lots of castles around here, in there, actually. Never really thought about it before. Not sure why this Mercedes is holding back so far. I know we can't really get anywhere, but... Keep on moving, mate, keep on moving. I do get impatient driving, though, I have to be fair. One of my downfalls. I think when you get used to driving the bike and you get past everyone, you get in the car and I'm terrible. I'm always cursing at people. I think it gets worse as you get older as well, actually. Now, I'm not sure what delights Sam has got in store for us. I'm going to follow him. He usually takes us some crazy routes. Here we go. I told you, he's off. He's nodding his head around, trying to guide me to do something. It's what usually happens. He hasn't got any indicators on there. He uses his hands. There we go. And so, is what you find is... He tends to give me the nod, the next thing he's gone and I have to whip the bike around, I don't know what the hell he's up to half the time. So here we go, he's obviously got a plan. So this is the town of Chepstow. I'll try and show you back up there, there's kind of not a lot going on really. A few curry houses, chip shops, the usual. So we're heading down towards the river here, that's the river Y. There we go, it is Chepstow Castle. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not riding into anything. Chepstow Castle there. Right, diverted traffic, we can go across the bridge. So this is the old bridge, there is another bridge. Just up the road, which we were just heading down. That would have taken you over the Y. And this one is like the old, I don't know, it's an old steel bridge. Don't know what they call this. I'll have to find out for you. There we are. Look at that. It's a river Y. Beautiful. And you know, it's not that far from all this area. It's the river Y that they filmed, if anyone watched on Netflix, a series called Sex Education. It's this sort of neck of the woods, a bit further upstream, most of it, I think. Sort of Ross and Y area. But there were bits filmed around, I think, Chepstow, Monmouth, that sort of area. So you might recognise the, the sort of landscape. Oh, it's a nice bit of tarmac, this. It feels sticky and you can smell it, it's fresh. Like I said, that bike, for an old bike, it goes some, man. He does ride it well, to be fair. I think he would give a lot of super bikes a run for their money through the lanes. On that skinny back wheel of his. A lovely bit of countryside, and what a day for it. It's been a bit windy today. The forecast was basically overcast. A little bit of sun this afternoon mild but the wind was out which I didn't expect but I tell you what it's turned into an absolute corker now it's lovely not too hot I got my my jacket on here with just a really thin jumper and a t-shirt which is perfect for today Sam was saying earlier he's got one of those air jackets on it's just a bit too cold for that at the moment you need a jumper underneath it's letting all the air through but I can't wait for a boiling hot day to get mine on because they're great you've got all the padding you feel nice and protected keeps you nice and cool I bought this RST jacket I've got on which is it's warm it's all right but it's got some nice vents it's like a hoodie like a shorter one I got my jeans on I got waterproof top and bottom in my bag on the back so the idea being if it gets wet I just chuck that on and I've also bought an air jacket for when it gets really hot so I can wear pretty much the same gear but sometimes when you just want to be in a t-shirt you can lob it over the top so that's what I'm hoping to do this year but knowing my luck this will probably be my first and last ride this year it's always this time of year I think Oh, I'm going to get out now. Get out every week on the bike. I never do. Something crops up. I've got a holiday book for a few weeks now. We're off to Menorca. That'll be one week out of action. Got some stuff at the end of the summer booked up. Obviously with work and whatnot. i got stuff to do over on my other channel. Pace around the house. I've got a shed roof to get on. I've got to try and find some time to fit that in. There's loads of other jobs I still need doing. Anyway, let's not dwell on that because it's a beautiful day. And I'm out on a bike. Woo! Look at that, another Costa. That's something we noticed on this channel. Since I've been riding round, wherever you go, there's always a Costa, whether it be a drive through uh, an eating or drinking, I should say. Costa and the BP stations are everywhere. They're taking over. Ale Burton. Al Burton, Ale Burton. 
Muffy Scaffolding Limited. There we go, there's a good advert for you, mate. I've got no idea who you are, but why not? We'll stick it out there. Look like a nice job. Muffy. Well, a mate called Moff. That's not his real name. A pub, the cross. Doesn't look open though, does it? It's a shame. Looks nice, looks like they're doing that place up to open back up again. Millin Brook Lodge Brook Lodge Hotel, the George Inn. That's a the problem these days, you go out on a bike or you go in a car, you can't drink and drive, can you? I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Oh, little calves there, look, all snuggled together. His hands out again, we're going right. Lydney Harbour. Ah, maybe he's taking us to Lydney Harbour. Go be careful here, look, on his phone, look, on his phone. Idiot. Oh, it's a bumpy little section there. I watched Sam go with that then. His bike goes up and down all over the place. They don't like it, do they? The big bikes, oh, they won't nod. They think I'm on a Joker's bike, see? Lydney train station. God, you always get nervous going over those, especially on a bike. Just expect the train to come crashing into you. Now, I don't think I've actually ever been to any roads before. Always nice to go somewhere new, isn't it? Ah, yes, Lydney Harbour. I thought that's where he's bringing us. Have I been here before? I don't know. Nice. What a nice day for it, huh? Some of those boats have seen better days, mind. I take it we're stopping. To the seaside. I tell you what, this wind's a bit uh, feisty. I'm not sure it's going to blow it over. I noticed that, mine, when you change gear. Your back wheel seems to kick out a bit. Yeah, it's, it's, um, this extra power doesn't help. It's, uh, it's maybe that's a bit soft, I don't know. It's about, I think it's about 20 psi. Lydney Harbour, there we are. Is the estuary. Look at those currents there. It's nuts, isn't it? Hot chop. You want to get in there, that's for sure. What a day for it we chose, mate. It was windy. Well, it's still windy now, isn't it? I thought it was going to rain earlier. There we go, up the River Severn. Absolutely beautiful. Except for the bigger people holding up there. I said, and don't worry, if you say anything nasty about anyone on camera, I'll put it on there, okay? <laughs> I won't really, I'm very careful with my editing. So there we go, that's the harbour. There's the gate for the water. And you can see we're down there at low tide. Very nice, very nice. God, it's windy though. There we go, that's Lydney Harbour. And we're off. Can you hear something rattling? Is that my keys maybe? I did have a Velcro sticky um, key ring on that. And what I used to do, I don't know if you can see that on the camera there, is I used to stick it down. And it would stick to that, but the key ring fell off, so I better sort that. So otherwise they jangle around and scratch the, see there, scratch the handlebars. I don't know, I don't care anymore. The bike's old, it's for being used in it, what am I worried about? Get out there and enjoy it. Oh, smell of sewage by you, what is going on? Oh, it stinks. Why does it smell so bad? Looks like we're going to have a duel. These boys over there, I think they're on small two strokes. I don't know what they are. Sounds like it, the way he's revving it up. I don't know if it's on a prettier, a bit like one I used to have. They're learning, so I'm guessing they're one, two, fives. Finally, we're out of there. We're out of there. That was a bit of a wait, that was. I think we are there for about 10 minutes. Bit of an anti-climax. Thought we were gonna have a nice, fast train speeding through and instead we have one one way one the other where are we going now then? 
Left oh, this is the way we came, isn't it? Oh, that always makes me nervous. Oh, we're going right. There we go, look. He doesn't have indicators. This is what I was telling you. Up towards, I think, the Forest of Dean now. Lydney Town Hall. Better go, or he'll be away from me now. Tesco's, another one. Always a Tesco's, isn't it? Always a Tesco's, a Costa or BP station, apparently. Bengal Balti. Mmm, I could eat a curry right now. Right now, I'm starving. Look at that in a betting shop. Always a betting shop, isn't it? Doesn't matter where you go. And if there's a betting shop in a place like this, it's usually a mountain warehouse as well, isn't it? Oh well, we've gone the wrong way. Now this is maybe a good opportunity for me to ask, you know, if you enjoy these Mojo vlogs and just seeing a few different places I drive around, I guess, which I am quite random, it's nothing planned really, just go for a ride and get out there. Um, then please subscribe, it really helps the channel out. I'm starting out, get the subscriber numbers up, get the watch hours up, it starts to help me out once I can monetize the videos as well. That helps out because it means I can get out and do a bit more of it. Also, if you really want to help out, you can go over to my other channel, Pouse Around the House, take a look at what I do there, it's my DIY channel. That channel is a bit more established, and do the same if you haven't already. Subscribe, like the videos if you do enjoy them, uh, and share them, share them with your mates. I'd really be doing me a favour, so yeah, I'd appreciate that. Obviously, if you don't like what you see, then don't, you know, dislike for all I care. YouTube, actually, is a funny thing they've done, is they've actually stopped showing the dislike button on videos for people which I kind of get they said it was to do with mental health and people don't like it but maybe I'm a bit old school but I, I think why not you want people to see the dislikes because the ratio of dislikes to likes are what actually makes a video in my view and if it's just a few too many dislikes you may want to turn away and I try to make videos you know people are disliking my videos I would want to know and change anyway I do know I can go in YouTube studio and see it myself but it just doesn't display it to other viewers i'm not really for that i think if people dislike it and i've made a bad video let people know because you know it's only giving me a kick up the bum to try and make them better anyway but there we are it is what it is it's the world we live in isn't it ah there we go hand out hand out old school i say i'm old school he doesn't even use indicators and he assures me that you don't have to it passes the mot you can use your hands it's apparently if you've got indicators on your bike then they have to work if they're not on there then you can obviously use hand signals, so that's the rule. This is like deja vu. I feel like I've been here before. Do you know what it is? I think I remember where it is. When I was in Brixham, we went to Paynton, down to this haze of the Stanley Hang right, and it looked just like that. Dean Forest Railway. So we are in, I think, the Forest of Dean area at least. There we go. If we get up here before the other traffic cut, oh, they're going, they're going, oh well. There we are. As I trouble with the big vehicle at the front, you just don't know, you can't quite see, can you? I'm going to go for this one anyway. There we are, we're good, we're good. Right, let's get this bike over and start using the supermoto for what it's for, for goodness sake. Come on, don't you see me dawdling around different streets? Now I'm going to watch Sam because he knows these roads like the back of his hand. And if he goes a bit easy, I'm going to go easy because he can ride that bike. And he'll probably enjoy watching himself actually. He can see exactly how he goes around these beds. But for such a skinny wheel, he just pumps it around. He honestly pumps it around. I end up around the bend, I end up panicking on the brakes. I wonder if I go a bit too fast trying to follow him in. Like I said, he does know the roads as well. So I've got to watch, I guess, sharp bend. He'll sail around. Another level crossing. Whoa. Ah, old railway line, there we go. Silly me. <laughs> That was the old railway, I think. Cool. Is that a cafe? Yeah, his bike is definitely running faster than it was before. He was getting away from me a bit then. Before, I would have caught him up quite comfortably. I'm surprised he's given it so much so uh, with the, the new engine. But, yeah, it's up to him. I think he likes it breaking down. It gives him something to do. I'm not going to follow him around that car here. I think I'll wait till I get around the bend. What are you looking at here? What's he pointing at? That building. You're probably talking the Dean Field Study Centre. Fucking hell. Something 
just smash my helmet. I hope that's not my GoPro. It still looks like it's in one piece. You do have to watch around here, like I said, through these bends. It's a good idea, you know, you feel like you want to go hard, but like here, you look at that junction, and it is, you go around too fast, you know, someone pulls out, you've had it, really. Sometimes I think I can hear my exhaust, and I think it's Sam's, actually. There we go, that was him popping. It is his exhaust as well. Oh, there we go. See that bend? I don't know the roads well enough. I think my ears are going from all the noise. This helmet is awful. I have to get a new helmet. There we go, we got a nod. Finally, a nod of someone that resembles an easy rider. I have a competition on this channel, I think. How many nods can we get? So I think he's taking me on one of his shortcuts again. I'm trying to find a pub to eat. He knows where we're going. I don't. So I'm just gonna keep following. This is a steep old hill. Woohoo! Look at that beautiful. Uh, it was a shortcut, that's what he did. Whoops a daisy, that was awful. So we're just driving into lower Lidbrook. Sam seems to be taking it awfully easy. I don't know if something's happened to his bike or what. It's not like him. Maybe it's just he's sticking to the speed limit as he should be. Oh Where are we going? What? what pub are we going? Saracen's Head. Saracen's Head. Saracen's Head. Excellent. show the nice uh, kids portion <laughs> right so there we go that was the Saracen's head Simmons yacht I had a child's portion fish and chips and it certainly was no child's portion it was huge and you've got a lovely riverside view if you want to sit outside absolutely lovely B&B as well highly recommend it Saracen's head there we go right let's get going Should we try and do a wheelie terrible there were a load of bikers just shot off up here. They were on like street fighters and racing bikes. Shot off like madmen. So I did joke with Sam about it's a shame we weren't with them or we could have tried to go past them. And I think he's taken it to heart and he told me we still can. So I think he wants to see if his bike could go faster up here than all those boys on their 750s and 900s. Oh, there's a junction here, so I've got to make sure I look behind me. I'm fed, I'm watered, nice pint of coke. I had a nice little tingle in the toilet, so I'm ready to go. See, this is where he goes around the bends, I don't know them. And to mention that Simmons Yacht, I think I was Simmons Yacht East, so there is another point to Simmons Yacht that looks completely different. So if you haven't been to Simmons Yacht and you're wondering why does that look the same, well, it's probably the other side of the river. There she is again. River White. So, if we go this way, we go to Monmouth or Hereford. Oh, he's off. Oh, that sun is bright, I can't see. So, 
at this point of the day, my bum starts to get a little bit sore. We sat down in that pub and I got back on the bike and it was aching. Like a razor blade up your bum cheeks this seat. So we're just driven back into Monmouth. We're going to say bye to Sam in a minute. I, I was going to come down to us with you, but I think I'd better go and check my oil. That's fine. So here we go, this is Monmouth. Just driving through the little town centre. I said I don't know if they've closed this off or not. They did close it off during Covid. And they started building like little seating areas for some of the shops and the cafes down here. It looks like it's open now anyway. And it wasn't bad actually because it was pedestrianised. You could walk through it. And I quite like little pedestrianised areas. It brings a different feel to the place. There we go. That's what I was talking about. Those there. It's like, and here, they built little seating areas, so they built these curbs out into the, instead of parking, they put those there, so people can sit on little tables and that kind of thing, which I don't think is a bad thing. Get people out eating and that sort of stuff in the evenings. Quite quiet around your mind, but I suppose Monmouth is, it's not, it's not a big place. So yeah, Monmouth Town Centre. Waitrose, another chain. Oh, posh around here, Monmouth you see. No Asda or Tesco's up here. Waitrose or Co-op. No, oh, we're just pulling over. I think we're going to take a shortcut. You can't park there, mate. You're not disabled. So Sam's just left, he's gone home. Before I do go, I just want to say, if you're interested in any of the stuff that I wear or any of the products I use to film these videos, then I'll put links to those in the description section below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, please share the video, and finally, please subscribe to my channel because that would really help me out. And other than that, it's just to say, I've been Pace, out of the house. Ta-ta, farewell.